Hi everybody, welcome back to Enjoying Retirement. Today we're in Nassau, the Bahamas, and I want to show you the best Scorch conch I have ever had. And the show the guy puts on to make it, it's just outstanding. If you're ever in Nassau, uh, you'll hear about the Fish Fry, a collection of restaurants. Oh, about a mile um, west of downtown Nassau. Uh, everybody recommends going there and the one place I've heard about from just about everybody down there they always recommended a place called Goldie's. Goldie's is unique because they have a over-the-water portion of the restaurant that is built on conch shells and here we can see why this is their specialty and of course conch is a specialty of all of the Bahamas but here is a true artist we ordered a tropical scorched Conk. And you will find out that being scorched has nothing to do with uh, scorch marks, grill marks, or anything like that. We'll talk about that in a bit. But this is uh, shows how fresh it is. You saw him with the hatchet. He's cracking open an area in the back so that he can then insert a knife and release the conch from the shell itself. He cleans everything up, takes the conch straight inside. And what's beautiful about this restaurant is you can go in there and you can watch him do it right there. And this is the scorched part. In Bahamian, uh, scorched actually means scored. So what we would call scored, uh, they call scorched. And that's a way of tenderizing the conch. They slice it one way uh, to open it up a little bit. And then, as you'll see here in a moment, he's going to turn it around and then he's going to cut actual slices through it all. That way your conch is a little bit more tender since this isn't cooked. It's got to rely on that to get there. So he's got two conchs all sliced up. He's uh, going to add some onion here. And the, the typical uh, scorched conch is onion, lime juice, um, and it's all mixed together kind of like a ceviche. But if you go there, I highly recommend getting the tropical because the tropical is going to add pineapple and mango. And here he's working on the pineapple and the pineapple and mango. Take it from a uh, sour um, ceviche type to a sweet and truly tropical, uh, you know, it, you might call it an appetizer, but for me, this is a meal. There's a lot of meat there. A lot of good vegetable, not vegetables, but fruits and onions, and we'll see him do it. Now here he's cutting up the mango, and I tell you what, it, it is just fun to watch a guy who takes pride in his work and does it so well. And, and you're going to see through here. Now I cut out a lot. Um, he is cleaning each individual piece of fruit, and I've watched him pick each piece of fruit. He is making sure he gets the ripest one using his machete there getting a little bit of salt and man what a meal i mean basically uh prepared with a hatchet and a machete man it is good and there's quite a bit of it too so here he is he's going to put it in a bowl and and and, and th this is what i really admire about this guy now we're going to come down we are going to do the limes and the oranges um and that that's the citric part uh, that's the part that's going to uh, some people call it cooking but it really just uh, affects the meat doesn't really cook it but there's a lime and now we're going through the oranges now as you'll see in a moment after he puts in a few oranges he's going to mix it up and then he's going to taste it and he's going to say you know what that's not quite there yet he's going to add a couple more oranges and then he's going to taste it again so he is not just doing this to uh, get the job done. He is doing it, tasting it, and making sure that it gets done right. And like I said, I, I, I admire a guy who takes pride in his work and does it so well as this guy did. Uh, I'm just sorry that I wasn't, uh, I, I didn't get his name. But uh, hey, one thing to keep in mind is pretty much everybody down in the Bahamas in the service industry works on tips. So when you see a guy like this, a real craftsman who takes pride in his work and enjoys what he's doing, make sure you give him a tip. He's a back, uh, back end kind of guy, so he probably doesn't see customers much to get uh, tips directly. But man, he, he puts on quite a show you can walk up and see, and he is proud of his work, and he should be. 
here we are, brought it to the table and we're gonna give it a try. Like I said, that's a meal by itself. We came back another night and, and that was indeed a, a meal that we split between us. Well, here's the ultimate critic and she enjoys it. So we have a winner. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll have a few more videos of the Bahamas coming up. But uh, for now, I am, as always, enjoying retirement. Take care.